fact Oreo robots in three levels. Level 1, Transport Tycoon. Fact Oreo has three main ways to transport items. Belts, trains, and robots. Each one has their pros and cons. Trains are good for short distances when you need a lot of buffer space, but don't do well over long distances because of how many carriages you need. Belts are good for medium distances, but it's easier to just daisy chain train cars. Robots are the real MVP when it comes to long distance travel. To illustrate this, here I have set up two chests that are very far away from each other, and one robot that will transport the item. You will notice that the only thing I have to build are the robo ports, but you should already have more than enough of these in your factory anyway. It might take a long time, but it is far more uranium-235 per second friendly than any other method, because there is only one entity moving. Level 2, Noob. Anyone can fly a drone, but it takes a man to be a noob. A noob wouldn't understand the intricacies of the difference between logic bots and constructor bots. Constructor bots are relatively straightforward. First you must destroy whatever it is that you intend to create. You then perform a seance to summon the ghost of the building you wanted, and then the constructor bot travels to hell to collect the soul of the machine, and brings it back into the land of the living. It is not possible to fully automate the cycle of samsara, but as the factory grows, so does the need for souls. Level 3, The Matrix. Once you've resurrected a machine army, it's time to get illogical. A logic bot is slightly more complicated, utilizing several magic boxes to perform its tasks. All you really need to know about are storage box chests and provider chests. The rest is all unnecessary. In this example, items are being moved from the storage chest into the active provider, only for the robots to put them back in the storage chest. That is because by default storage chests will accept any item. To fix this, we must utilize the filter mechanic. Unfortunately it is limited to one item type per box, but you can also set it up using the circuit network. Here I have some constant cominators hooked into the box, and I can use them to filter what goes in it. If you try to tell it to accept several items, it will only remember the last used signal. Like and subscribe for more Fact Oreo content, or comment below if you want me to cover something specific.